Welcome to this Advent Computing video slideshow guide. Have you ever worried about the data on your laptop's hard drive or USB flash drive? Can you be sure no one else is taking a peek at your sensitive documents? One way to make snooping on you more difficult is by encrypting your files. TrueCrypt enables you to password protect your data so you can prevent prying eyes getting at things that you'd rather keep secret. In this guide we'll show you how to install and use it. TrueCrypt is completely free, so start by opening your web browser and going to TrueCrypt.org. Click the Downloads link and then click the Download button beneath the Windows entry. Save the TrueCrypt setup file to your hard drive, then when the download has finished double click it to begin installing the program. Click Yes when prompted, then tick I accept the license terms and click Next. Leave Install selected and click Next again. Check the installation options, removing any ticks you don't need such as creating a desktop shortcut, then click Install. Wait while a restore point is created, then once installation completes click OK followed by Finish. Click Yes if you wish to familiarise yourself with TrueCrypt, or click No to get on with things. Windows 8 users should click Start, open the All Apps section and launch TrueCrypt from its shortcut. When the main screen appears, click Create Volume to get started. You're presented with two basic choices. If there's data already on the drive you wish to store your encrypted files on, the Create an Encrypted File Container option is the one to pick. If you want to encrypt an entire data partition or drive, such as a USB flash drive with nothing on it, you'll want to choose Encrypt a non-system partition instead. The procedure for setting up both is quite similar, but in this video guide we're going to show you how to create a file container, so select that and click Next. Two types of volume can be created. Advanced users may want the extra protection afforded by the hidden TrueCrypt volume option. But the standard option is perfectly adequate for those simply wishing to protect their data in the event their laptop or USB flash drive is lost or stolen. We're going to concentrate on the standard option for this tutorial, so leave standard TrueCrypt volume selected and click Next again. An encrypted file container is basically a file inside which all your data is stored having been encrypted. Click Select File and browse to the drive where you wish to store your encrypted container. Open the drive and then type a new file name into the file name box. Avoid using a file extension which can be problematic and click Save followed by Next to set up your encryption options for the volume. When it comes to selecting your encryption options, the default choices are fine for most people, so feel free to click Next and skip to the next section. However, advanced users should know that TrueCrypt offers a choice of eight algorithms. Three basic types, AES, Serpent and Two-Fish, plus five different combinations of those three types. Selecting a different algorithm reveals its own history and a description. Click the More Information link for an extended description. The hash algorithm is used in conjunction with your password and, if applicable, key file to unlock your encrypted data. We cover this in the next step. Three different options are provided, each providing an extra layer of security. It's worth noting that the tighter the encryption algorithm, the longer it takes to encrypt and decrypt data. Click the benchmark button to see what effect different algorithms will have on performance. When it comes to creating your file container, you'll first need to set a size for it. Depending on how much data you need to encrypt and how much free space is available on the drive, choose a suitable figure in megabytes or gigabytes. Don't make it too large or you might draw attention to the file. So if you plan to use it for just a few sensitive documents, you may find anything from 10 to 100 megabytes is more than sufficient depending on the size of your original files. Once set, click Next. You'll need to create a volume password that you'll use to access your encrypted container and files in future, so make sure it's memorable but also tough to crack. TrueCrypt will nag you if it's less than 20 characters in length, so follow the advice given. Tick Display Password if you're having trouble typing it incorrectly. If you want even greater security, tick Use Key Files and click the Key Files button to select at least one additional file by clicking Add Files. Any files will do. Doing so means your encrypted drive or container can only be opened by selecting that file in addition to entering the correct password. It adds another layer of security to your files, but make sure that file is accessible when you need it. The same USB drive as the original encrypted container perhaps, or another USB drive for greater security. Once selected, click Open followed by Next. Now, 
Move your mouse within the True Crypt Creation window for as long as you can to generate a strong cryptographic key. The longer you move it around, the stronger the key generated. When you're ready, click Format and the encrypted volume will be created. Wait until the confirmation dialog appears, then click OK followed by Exit to return to the main TrueCrypt window, ready to access your encrypted container for the first time. Your encrypted container needs to be mounted as a virtual drive before you can access or use it. Once mounted, it'll function like any other drive, letting you copy data to and from it. It's only when you close or unmount the drive that it will be locked from view. To mount your container, you first need to select a drive letter from those available. TrueCrypt selects Y by default, which is a good choice as it tends to be always available and therefore easy to remember. But you can choose another if you don't agree with the choice. Now, click the Select File button to choose your encrypted container. Select your USB drive and then select your file container before clicking Open. Next, click the Mount button. Type in your password. If you used key files for additional security, tick Use Key Files and then click the Key Files button followed by Add Files to select them from their original locations. Click Open followed by OK and finally OK again. If you get an error message, click OK and try entering your password again and selecting the correct key file. If you've entered your details correctly, you'll see the file container listed next to the drive letter ready for use. Open a File Explorer window and you'll see that your encrypted drive is now accessible as a virtual disk drive. It works like any regular hard drive or USB flash drive, allowing you to copy files into and out of it, as well as open files stored inside it from within applications. Remember that your drive is visible and accessible when mounted to anybody who might use your PC. So when you're finished, return to the main TrueCrypt screen and click Dismount followed by Exit to ensure that your data is protected going forward.